Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a snowflake. I'm going to be using a 5mm hook. You're going to need scissors and a needle. I'm using a weight for yarn, this soft and shiny. So to get started, we're going to need to do a magic ring. So I'm just going to take the string here, wrap it around my fingers, make an X there. We're going to go underneath this one, pull that one over, and do a single crochet. And our string should be on this side. So now we're going to chain two more. So we have three here. And then two double crochets into this ring. Chain one. And then we'll do three double crochets. Chain one, three more double crochets. And then we're going to chain one, three more double crochets. I count, I got one, two, three, four. I want six clusters, so I'm gonna chain one, three more double crochets, chain one, and then three more, then I'm gonna chain one again. So that should be six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've chained one. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three here. And now I'm just going to pull that tight to close our ring there. Now in this space here, I'm going to place a single crochet, chain two, and then do two more double crochets. I'm gonna go into this next space here. I'm gonna do three double crochets. I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna do three more in that same space. So I have six total in here. Now I'm gonna go into this next space. Place three double crochet, chain one, and three more. Next space, three double crochet, chain one, three more double crochet. Next space, same thing. So now we're back to our last space here. We're gonna do three double crochet. Then we are going to chain one and slip stitch into 
the top of this chain. Now we are going to do a single crochet into that space, chain two, two double crochet, next space, three double crochet, and now we're going to go into our corner here, so we'll do our six double crochet, so one, two, three, do our chain one, and then back into that stitch. This is our side, so we'll place three single crochet. And then our corner, three double crochet, chain one, then three more double crochet. Into our side, we'll do three. This corner, we're going to do six. So we're just going to keep doing that until we get back around. I'm just getting back to the beginning here. So we'll place our last three double crochets. We'll chain one slip stitch into the top of that chain. And we are going to do the same single crochet in the space. Chain two two double crochets and then we are going to skip a stitch we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches five so then we're gonna skip the two and do our corner here the three double crochet chain one three double crochet so then we're going to do five more single crochet so we'll skip this stitch skip this stitch go into the top of this third we'll do one two three four five and then skip those two and do our corner again And one, three more double crochets. Then we'll do our five double cro or our five single crochets. So we skip one, two into this one here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, skip two. And we're just going to repeat this until we get back to the beginning of this round.
back at the beginning here I'm gonna place my last three double crochets in that space and then I'm going to chain one and slip stitch into the top of that chain and this is going to be our final row So we are going to do our single crochet, chain two, one more, or sorry, yeah, double crochet here, and then we are going to chain one, and we're going to just slip stitch it into the top two loops here so we'll pull it through and then this last loop there and then we'll place two more double crochets in this space we're going to this would be our first stitch here so go into our like middle stitch of this cluster of three we're going to place a single crochet we're gonna do the chain one and then we're gonna go through those two loops of there and slip stitch it then we're going to place another single crochet back into that same stitch. We're going to skip this stitch here. We'll do two single crochets. Now in this third stitch here, we're going to place two single crochet. We're going to chain one and then we're going to do that same slip stitch through and then place two more single crochet into that stitch. Then we'll do a single crochet in the next two stitches. Then we're going to skip this stitch and we're going to go into this middle one here. We'll single crochet, do that chain one and the slip stitch through this one. Then we will single crochet back into that stitch. We'll skip this one and do two double crochet in this corner space. And then we're gonna do our chain one, slip stitch into that, these top two loops. And then place two more double crochet. Skip this first one. Go into here, single crochet, chain one, slip stitch through these two loops. single crochet into the same stitch, skip one, we'll do one single crochet, next one two single crochet, then into the third one here, two single crochets, chain one, slip stitch into that single crochet, and then two more single crochet into this stitch. And then two single crochet in the next two stitches. So then we'll skip this one, go into this next stitch, single crochet, chain one, slip stitch into it, single crochet, skip this stitch, and then do our two double crochets, 
chain one, slip stitch, two double crochets, and we're just doing this all the way back to the beginning. So I'm just on my last couple stitches here. I'm doing my two single crochets, then I'm going to skip one. I'm going to go into this middle stitch here. We'll do our single crochet, chain one, the slip stitch into it, our single crochet, and then we would be back to our corner where we did our two double crochets here. I am going to slip stitch into the top of that double crochet, and that is finished. I'm going to leave a tail to weave it in here. So I'm going to cut off, pull this through. It looks, you know, like it folds over this one. I blocked it so it lays flat. I don't have anything special to block it. I actually just used my kid's diaper box and then a couple nails I just stuck in stretched it over. You have to get it wet first. Um, if you don't have anything at all to block it, to get it to lay flat, I would just get it wet and place a heavy book over it. You're gonna want to like flatten it out and put a heavy book over it for probably 24 hours until it's completely dry and then it should lay flat. It just won't be as stretched out as this one. Um, so now let's weave in our ends here. So we've slip stitched. I'm going to go through this loop here, these two. And then I'm going to go right through the top of the slip stitch and out through the back. And that looks like just a regular top of your single crochet there. Now we just want to tuck in these strings. Depending on your use for them, I mean it's going to change how secure you want it, like how much you want to go back and forth with this string. Like if you're using this for clothing, you're going to want to, because it's going to be washed, you want it really in there good. If you're going to be blocking it with nails and it's going to be pulled on tight, you're going to want it also tucked in pretty good. So just back and forth different directions. And for this magic ring, I'm just going to pull it tight again. And I'm going to weave this in nice and tight so it doesn't unravel. So I'm just going to go around the circle a bit, pulling it tight again. Kind of just wiggle it in there. And 
and then I'm going to go back in the other direction around it now. Going through a different loop so it doesn't pull itself out. That's tight enough for me. I struggled to get the needle through a little bit, but if you're more worried, you can go up your um, stitches a little bit more instead of just around the circle. So that's finished. I hope you guys enjoyed making this snowflake. I'm going to be making a lot of them this winter for decorations for a costume I'm making as well I'm excited to share that with you guys too um thanks for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you are new here I am Taylor's Crochet Co on Instagram and TikTok and Crochet with Tay on YouTube 